This week's Word of the Week is going to be uh, Collet Body. We're starting a little bit of a series on uh, Word of the Weeks on the parts of a TIG torch and some of it that's in the actual uh, welder itself. Uh, last week we did a gas nozzle here. Um, the gas nozzle actually threads onto the collet body, which is right here in the TIG torch. And uh, we'll do a close up here in a little bit and uh, show you some troubleshooting if you're having issues with it so you can see it a little bit closer than uh, this far away. But as far as uh, the theory of the whole process here, um, the collet body has some different kinds of functions here. Um, the first and probably the most important is it pinches the collet. When you uh, tighten the end cap here, it pushes the collet down in to the uh, collet body and then tightens it so it don't fall out and provides good electrical contact. It also has holes in it that provide the gas flow from the argon to prevent uh, atmospheric contamination. Um, it also holds the gas nozzle, like I just said, just threads right over it. And then uh, it also conducts the electricity, so it transfers the electricity to the actual arc. These are the main functions of the cow body. Uh, price, there's two main ones that uh, are, are available, uh, minus the gas lens ones that have the little screen in them. These are uh, basically a water-cooled one and an air-cooled one, which I have the air-cooled one right here. And you can see it's like ginormous compared to the uh, water-cooled one. But the uh, collet body in the air-cooled one is a little bit bigger, so there's a little more copper to it. Uh, so that one's $3 uh, a piece. And then the uh, water-cooled one is $2 a piece. Collet body, there's not a lot that can go wrong with it. A lot of it's pretty obvious. There we go, problems. Well, you can have the wrong one. So there's, there's sizes on there. Usually it's going to be 16, uh, 330 seconds or eighth of an inch, and if you have the wrong size, the tungsten just won't fit into it. And the collet won't tighten up on it either. So uh, a big problem could be a, a loose fit here. One of the ways that uh, you can have a major problem with your TIG torch is if you tighten it up in the wrong sequence. So basically what you have to do is when you put the collet body on, take the end cap right off. And I'll, I'll show you this in a close up in a second here, but you tighten this first. If you have this loose, if you have the collet body loose and then you tighten the end cap, it won't be close enough together to push the collet together. So this will be loose. And I have people all the time that come to me and they go, you know, my tungsten keeps falling out. That's because they didn't tighten this up first. So we'll do a close up of that procedure here in a minute. But that's probably the main problem, uh, loose fit. So it also with loose fit, it doesn't conduct electricity as well because you, it's not all tight. So you have uh, more electrical resistance, can cause heat, tungsten erosion, things like that. So loose fit is probably the biggest one. And then wrong polarity, if you have it on direct current, electrode positive, and you push the foot pedal down, it's going to shoot up into the um, tungsten, and it can melt the actual collet body and the collet and just about everything in there. So you, you want to make sure you have the, the right polarity so that when you uh, start it, you don't melt it. Uh, the wrong polarity can cause all kinds of problems, but basically what you're doing is if, if you're not on direct current electrode negative, you're on direct current electrode positive, a stick welder, let's say, was on it before you, um, the electricity is going up into the tungsten, and it causes all kinds of problems, too much heat, and uh, you can ruin that collet body. I've actually had somebody weld the collet to the collet body, and then it melted all around the tungsten, and it's all in one piece, so uh, wrong polarity can be um, a big one. Uh, Cross thread, obviously if you cross thread it, it's not going to work. If you start to tighten this up and it doesn't go smoothly, stop. Something's wrong, you're cross threading it. So what we'll do now is we'll do a close up of the, the sequence of how to tighten this so that it doesn't have a loose tungsten in there. So we'll uh, get a close up of that and move on here. Just real quick, I wanted to show you a close up of the $3 collet body on the left there and then there's the $2 collet body on the right. And I think the main difference is one's water-cooled and one's air-cooled. Unless somebody else knows anything different. Throw in the comments. I'll show you the way they um, mistakenly tighten uh, their collet body to cause problems here now. This is the water-cooled TIG torch we got here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this end cap down before I tighten the um, collet body down. So as I tighten this, it's supposed to tighten the tungsten. You can see it's tight, and this still moves. So the reason that is is because the collet body wasn't tightened first. So when you first put a collet body on, just 
take it, tighten it all the way with the end cap right off. Then just take a pair of pliers and snug it. Just snug it. You don't have to tighten the ever loving daylights out of it. Then put your end cap on, tighten it, and then it, it doesn't move. See that? I'm pulling pretty hard, but it's not moving. People tend to tighten this end cap first, and then the collet body isn't all the way seated, and it provides for uh, a loose tungsten. And you can have tungsten erosion, increased electrical resistance, things like that. So take the end cap right off, tighten the collet body, and then you're good to go. Uh, I think we'll go over collet next week. We're out this week. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you later.